Hello friends, this video on areas of parallelogram and triangles part 2 is brought to you by examphere.com. No more PA from exam. Now let's talk about figures on the same base and the same parallels. Please pay attention here, very important concept because the whole chapter is based on this concept. See, when you say two figures are based on the same base and same parallel, that means that they have a common base. Sure. And the vertex or vertices, depending on you talk about triangle or parallelogram, opposite to the common base of each of these figures, they lie on a line. They lie on one line. And that line has to be parallel to the base. So let's take with examples. First, before we start, don't visualize this as a three-dimensional figure. Don't visualize, else you'll be confused. It is a two-dimensional figure. Think of a trapezium, you try to visualize two, for example, in this case, you try to visualize uh, one parallelogram, uh, one figure here, and both have the same base, and it's a parallel that won't work. Don't visualize in a three, two, three dimensional world, right? Visualize in two dimensional no. So, let's take an example as I told the definition. Two figures are set in the same base and same parallel if they have common base. So, let's take one triangle. And let's take one more triangle. Right? So if you see both these triangles, we can have this triangle, this triangle. The base is same. So let me mark the number A B. Right? Both have the base A B. Correct? Right? Same base. Now, that is, they have same base. Now the question is whether they are between the same parallel. For it to be in the same parallel, the vertex or vertices. So in case of triangle, there is only one this vertex opposite to the base side. So opposite to the base, there is only one common vertex here, and there is only one common vertex here. This should be, this should form a line. Always, always if you see it, it will always form a line. We need two lines, it will form a line. Now, this line, CD, actually has to be parallel to the common base. Now, if you see CD is not parallel to common base, CD is not parallel. That's why I will not see that they are within same parallel. They are in the same base, but they are not within same parallel. Now let's take an example to clear it out. Let's take a parallelogram here. And let me mark this point as EF. And let's take another parallelogram, the grey color. Notice both have the same base. But here also, if you see, for this to be between same parallels, actually. What we have to do, we have to make sure that the vertices are positive to the base. For example, in this case, this vertices. And let me name this GH. And in this case, D dash H dash. Right? So these vertices actually, hmm, these should be in the line that is parallel to the base. And they are not in the line. First thing, they are not in the line. See, GH and G dash H, they are not forming one line. It has to form a line. If it forms a one line, and if that line is actually parallel to EF, that means they are the same base. But it is not forming. Correct? That means they are not on the same path. The same path. Let's take a trapezium here. And let's uh, see that. You see these two trapezium have the same base. But here also if you see these points, these four points, are not lying on a line. So first thing, it should lie on a line, and then the second thing, that line has to be parallel to the base. Let's take an example. Let's take this triangle and this triangle, and let's uh, give some names here. Let's give this be YG, and let this form it be K and K dash. Okay. So with this, you will notice that. Point K and K dash are actually lying on the same line. And also, if you notice that K, K dash is actually parallel to IG. Since K, K dash is parallel to IG, I can say that they are lying within the same parallel. For same base, we have seen that both these triangles they actually lie on the same base. IG was the base. Right? On this both this triangle, IJK and IJK dash line, plus 
you see that the vertex opposite to IJ, K and K dash, they form a line and this line is parallel to the base. Let's take the scenario for parallelogramming. So let's say this to be LM. LM is a base. And if you see this draw another parallelogram on the same base, if you see both the parallelogram say is the same base. And let's uh, first draw the points LM and O. This put a and this is E and this is C. So now if you see P and O Q, they are forming in one line, one condition passed. Second is that line has to be parallel to LM and if you see that actually since it is a parallelogram P and Q is actually parallel to LM. Why? Because if you see PQ is parallel to LM and NO is parallel to LM and they are all lying in the same line so PO is parallel to LM. Thus this is the case of common base and between same parallel. Okay, Let's take example of trapezium. So we have, uh, This be RS and the base be RS. And let's draw another parallelogram with the base RS. And if you see, let's suppose this is TU and this is well, this will be XY. And this point will be XY. Now if you see that they have the same base RS and also these vertices T X Y C U T X Y U, they actually form a straight line. And this line actually is parallel to RS. Correct. Since this line is parallel to RS, this is the case of same base and between same parallel. Please don't visualize in the three-dimensional saying that this is a common base, right? And there are two figures, and if you draw a line, they are parallel. Don't don't do that. It has to be two-dimensional, only assuming two different pieces of paper with uh, triangle in that or parallelogram in that or any figure, just two different pieces of paper, paper, one upon another, two, two different pieces of paper, one upon another and then you can visualize that, right? So it, it has to have common base, that is pretty easy to visualize, you can just check if they have common base and between the same parallel, you can just draw a line with the vertices or vertex, okay? And that line has to be parallel. First thing you should draw a line and then for example in this case it is not even a line. This case is not even here a line. So first thing it should be a line and then it should be parallel to the base. For example, let's show you. Let's take this. Okay. And let's take Now these two figures, if you see, they form a line. They are the same base, that's for sure, and they are forming a line also. But this line is not parallel to this line, so they will not be parallels. I mean, they will not be between the same parallels. This line has to be parallel, right? So let's take some. I mean, let's take the formal definition as you have told. Two figures are said to be on the same base and between the same parallels if, if. They have a common base, you see common base, and the vertices or vertex, vertex in the case of triangles, vertex in the case of triangles, and vertices in the case of parallelogram and trapezium. Right? So this vertices opposite to the common base, opposite to the common base of each figure, lying on a line parallel to the base. When you draw a line, you should all be in the line. And that line should be parallel to the base. For example, here this line is parallel to the base, this line is parallel to the base. If you join these two points, it will be a line, and this line will be parallel to the base. So if you draw one more triangle here, let's suppose here. So we can say that all these three triangles are actually lying on the same parallel, I mean lying on the same base and within the same parallel. And you must be thinking, why are we studying this? What is special about the figures which are on the same base and in the same parallel? Actually, it is, you'll see that they'll have same area. And that's a big thing. 
right? Just by seeing that they are seeing seeing these in the same pattern, you can see that we see triangles of same area. So we'll we'll understand that in more detail later. Let's do some practice actually. Let's define some uh, common base and uh, same pattern figures. So let's take the first one. So if you see this this figure P D C is one figure. The figure is A P A B C D. So both have common base C D, right? It has common base C D and A B C D also has common base C D. So common base is done. The second is common parallel. So vertices opposite to this base C D. These three vertices, if you join, you get a line. And the question is, can you visualize this line APB? Is it parallel to CD? Yes, line AB is parallel to CD. See, it is parallel or not? We don't know, but we assume that this is a parallelogram. ABCD is a parallelogram. So, with that assumption, the line AB is parallel to CD. Since AB is parallel to CD, we can say that yes, these are figures on the common base and between same. Now let's take second. The second is it between common base and common parallel figures? So there are two figures here: P Q R S M N S R. You see, this common base is there, but common uh, between same parallelogram, between uh, parallel figures. Let's see. So if you join these two points, you don't even get a line. So possibility. I mean, the question of the, this being parallel to S R is immaterial because. P, M, N, Q is not a line, so it is not between the same common base and between the same parallels. So let's take this. So here, if you see, if you assume there are two figures here, actually, triangle P, Q, R, and parallelogram P, Q, R. So we see Q, R is a common base, right? P Q R has this. P Q R S also has this. First part is done. Second part, we have to check if the vertices form a line. All these three vertices that you can see are forming a line. Third part is this line, which is formed. Is it parallel to Q R? Yeah, it looks like it is parallel. So if you assume that P Q R S is a parallelogram, then actually P S is parallel to Q R, right? Because their sides are parallelogram. I can see yes, they are figures between same base and I mean they are figures with common base and between parallel lines. Let's take the fourth example. So here, if you see, let's try to figure out any is there any figure which has common base? I don't see. So I see a triangle PQR and triangle ABCD, but there is no common base. So triangle PQR has this space, and triangle ABCD has this much big base. So there is not a common base at all. So there is no common base. There is no point of between parallel lines. Let's see this figure. So here you see this figure. Uh, there is a figure A. There are so many figures actually. There is a triangle here. There is a triangle here. There is a Quadrilateral here, this quadrilateral here. So if you take uh, BQ as a base, you don't see any common figure. If you take PC also as a base, you don't see any common figure. But if you take AD as a base, you see two common figures. Visualize. One common figure is one figure is ABQD. The other is APCD. So in this, in both these cases, they share AD as the base. First part is done. If AD is the base, and if you have taken these figures, then the opposite vertices are these vertices, right? For AB, QD, AB, QD, and ABCD, these are the vertices. Right? Because see, AD I have taken, AD I have taken. Here I am left with B and Q. Here I am left with P and C. So these vertices, let us join them. So if we join them, they form a line. Second part is also done. Third part is: Is this line B P Q C parallel to AD? Yeah, they look parallel, right? I mean, they look parallel to me. I mean, assuming they are parallel, if they are parallel, then I can say that yes, they are figure between uh, 
tablets in hand, they have common base. Let's take this. So we take this figure. There are one, two, three paragrams. There's a fourth, there's a fifth, there's a sixth. There's so many paragrams actually. And let's try to find any paragram which has a common base. We can do this. If you take this paragram, and if you take this paragram, and if you take this paragram, all these three paragraphs are same way as they've been drawn. Okay. It's three paragraphs. Okay. P E S D, P B C S, and P Q R S. All these three have the same base P S. But are they within the same pattern? The answer is no. So if you see here. I mean, if you join these points, say for example, A, B, D, C, if you consume, the, if you consider these two bits, of course, and you are saying P, S is uh, actually uh, base, if you join A, D, B, C, A, D, B, C, you won't find a single line. Even if you consider these two pair here, let's suppose, and let's take P, S, no P, S. If you join B, C, Q, R, B, C, Q, R, that is also not a line. So if you join any other point, you'll see you'll not get a line. Since you'll not get a line, Assume that this is not a figure written or a figure with a common base and the same pattern. Right? The only figure with a common base and same pattern where figure P D C and A B C D in this, in this T Q R and P Q R S, and in this A D B Q and A D B C. Here A D was a common base, here Q R was a common base, here D C was a common base. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.